Hey there YouTube and Hobby King viewers. Uh, I just wanted to show you my new bird now that uh, I've taken the I-86 board off and put the KK2 board on. And I finally got it figured out I think how to set it up to make it fly level. And I went back with um, 8 by 4 by 3 blade props because they just seem to be um, a lot better with anything that's 3 cell. But uh, let me go ahead and get it turned on. And as you can see, I got it safe right now. And it has the auto level is is already on, so I'll just put it on and show you how well it flies in auto level mode. So now I'm going to arm it and bring it up. And there it is. Let me give it some throttle. Auto level. It's a wonderful thing. Some more throttle. Take it out there. Try to shake it around some. Let's see. And it still flies nice. If I want to turn it, I just take it, I go forward. I want to go forward, I got to keep it held forward and turn it. The wind's blowing it around a bit. Kind of windy, but it does pretty good. And no matter what I do, it, it just goes back to center and stabilizes. That's a pretty good job. And there it is again. Let's bring it over here. Bring it back to me. <laughs> Not so pretty. But anyway, that's it. That's the KK board. Oh, and one more thing. I put my obligatory rubber bands through the holes there because I tried to hard mount it on there and it wasn't very stable. So this is an idea you might want to try. I just had the rubber band, I threaded it through there, threaded it through there and then hooked it and the same on this side. And it really makes it a lot more stable. So I would recommend giving that a shot on um, pretty much everything. Even the I-86 board was more stable when I did that. But I had to make a um, plexiglass plate to thread the rubber bands through and stick the I-86 board down to. But, hope you like this. If you do, uh, give me a thumbs up or uh, subscribe, hit favorites, or if you feel like it, share it with somebody else. Thank you very much and uh, we'll see you next time.